Hey, hey, this is Will again, and this is another week in VR demos. So this time around, you can see that instead of a concrete jungle with a square basketball hoop, we have a town square, a medieval town square at that. And so you can see castles in the sky, or castles in the distance, clouds in the sky, and a forest behind me. And uh, all of these were downloaded from the Unity Asset Store, where other people make these uh, trees and buildings, and I get to use them. Um, so you can see it's Return of the Blocky Hands. And blocky Hands work like last time, where you can pick up objects that I designated to be pick upable, and you can move it around and toss them. Sweet. But. The demo this time is actually inspired by Harry Potter. We're going to take a wand and we're going to cast spells this time. So casting spells, how do they work? Well, had to kind of figure that out. I thought about doing wand movements or being able to say the spells and have them activate, but that would have been outside the scope of being able to do it inside of one week. So instead, what I did was just to use the trigger buttons. And besides, that would make it a little bit easier to uh, change what kind of spells that you have. So you can see at the tip of the wand, there's an indicator as to what kind of spell is activated. Here, this one's pretty obvious. It's a fire spell. Uh, and here, the other two are a little bit less obvious. Uh, but I'm going to show you the effects of all of these uh, later on. So you can see that these are particle systems where it's an image and they get you set the size, the duration, and the velocity to get uh, different kinds of effects. So we're going to start with this one. And you can see it kind of explodes a little. And what could this spell possibly do? Well. Inspired by Harry Potter Stupefy, uh, we can say the words. It makes it more fun. And apparently the wand movement is just down, according to the Harry Potter fans. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we have Stupefy. Stupefy, there we go. And as you can see, it just pushes things forward. Stupefy. And uh, the mushrooms. Stupefy. You see the mushrooms went out really far because they have a lot less mass than these crates and barrels. So let's try the next spell. Uh, here we can see that it's uh, sucking things in. So what could this possibly do? Uh, inspired by Accio, and for those of you that are Harry Potter fans, you know that you have to say the name of the thing you're trying to pull back. So it makes it a little bit fun to say it. Accio chest. And so you can see it coming, whoa, towards you. And the things that are heavier don't come at you nearly as, as fast. And it can be fun to try to catch things that uh, fly at you. Whoa, it popped up. Didn't know where that went. So so that's that's pretty fun. But nothing quite compares to uh, Incendio here. here we can shoot a fireball. Incendio, and I guess technically the wand movement is like this, but we'll just do Incendio. And I actually debated longer than I should have to figure out whether fireball should be affected by gravity, but I ended up deciding that it was a lot more fun. So here we can blow up those crates. Incendio. Incendio. Uh, yeah, so you can see that it pops up a little and things get set on fire. Even more so with these tulips. Incendio. Whoa. Whoa. Caught it there. And we can try to blow this stuff up too. Boom. Boom. And you can actually juggle these things as well. It makes it really fun. And a side effect of blowing things up near you is that you can set your hands on fire. I suppose you can try to transfer it, but that was beyond the scope of this particular week. So the other advantage of having fire affected by gravity is that 
you can shoot it up into the air and make it rain. And it makes a, a devastating effect. And it's pretty fun. Well, anyways, that's uh, pretty much it for this week. If you have comments and suggestions, I'd love to hear about them as to uh, what you'd like to see for next week as for another demo. Whoa. And I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. All right.